Hi guys, how are you? Happy Tuesday evening. I know, later than expected. It's been a busy afternoon. I ain't got no makeup on, guys. So I apologise, but I just had a bath. I thought, I'm not going to put my makeup on. You guys know what I look like. So, um, here we go. So this is your general tarot reading for no fixed subject, no fixed person. Um, I'm going to do your colour cards first and just see what comes up from there. And then we will see. Um, so I'm just going to ask the universe now to choose a card at the end. Um, see if it fits in with the reading. Um, and we will have a look. Okay, let's see. So I'm just going to cut this now. I'm just going to see what is at the top there. I'm not, well, I'm not going to see it now, um, but I will have a look at the end and then we will see what is coming in. Okay, so let's begin. So this is you now. So you're the questioner. The first card is the strongest because it's you. More than likely in the now position. Ooh. The hangman. What does this tell me? This tells me that you guys are waiting on something. So you could feel like you're waiting for results of a job or something like that, hanging around. But at the same time, what this does mean is there's a spiritual lesson in this, okay? So if you feel like certain things have been stagnant, have been not really moving very forward, ask yourself what is the lesson in this and why are you in this kind of energy, okay? Um, sometimes it is just literally a transitional phase from one point A to point B, um, and then we just have to wait things out. If you're, say, if you bought a home, you're waiting to move in, that could be on a physical level what that could mean, but on a spiritual level, it's asking you to weigh up. What are you overthinking about? What are you thinking too much about? Have you always thought this way before? And your, your universe, your guides want you to look at things in a slightly different way, okay? Um, so there's a beautiful spiritual element to this, and his um, crown chakra there is all lit up. So he has to stay, stay where he is to a certain degree in order for him to get to where he needs to be, okay? So, and then he will have the freedom to go to wherever he wants to go to. So hold in, there's what I want to say. Let's see what's coming in from an outside influence position. It's too bad. <clears throat> Too many. Let's see what's coming in from an outside influence position. Major. So two majors. The full energy. So a new transition is coming your way. So maybe this is what you're waiting for. Maybe this transition, you're patiently waiting for this new opportunity to come in. And it's clearly coming in to you. It doesn't mean you're a fool. But what I do want to say with this, be mindful about the next opportunity that comes your way. Whether that be a person or a um, situation. The fall is great because there's a lot of enthusiasm and taking a chance with something. But he's also on the edge of a cliff. So if he, if he moves too fast, then he could potentially crash and burn. But, you know, as, as this is coming in from an outside influence position and you're the hangman, you're not jumping to go to that necessarily, okay? So this could be, for a lot of you, an offer of a new job, um, a new partner, perhaps, let's see. Um, but this is like... The waiting will be worth it so far with regards to this, okay? So let's have a look and see what else is coming up in your position. Let's see. Definitely waiting, guys. Look, you've got the hangman and you've got the seven of pentacles coming in there, okay? So the seven of pentacles, you've planted the seed and now you're waiting for that seed to grow. So maybe you've gone after a job and you're waiting to hear back. Maybe you put an offer in on the home and you're waiting to hear back. Maybe you've told someone how you feel and you're waiting to hear back. That is what is the energy coming in right now, okay? But I do feel with the whole Seven of Pentacles energy, be mindful that you're not thinking too much where you're creating your own blockages, okay? Because there is a bit of a waiting game coming in here and just because something comes in, yes, it doesn't mean you have to take it, but at the same time, don't put unnecessary blockages in that that you don't need to put blockages in for if you want to go outside of your comfort zone then you definitely go outside of your comfort zone because the glory is always on the other side of the comfort zone energy and with the hangman coming up here this would suggest that the old way of being being done or you're doing it at the moment and there's just this beautiful transition coming in don't expect it overnight because this is clearly quite a slow moving energy okay i also feel that around about august time could have been a bit of a uh, turning point for a lot of you so that's what was only a couple of months ago now so think back eight weeks ago what were you doing around about eight weeks ago what were you thinking about um and then we'll see what is coming in so underneath the hangman energy what is coming in for you you've got the page of cups okay so this is an offering but it's in your position so you will be offering something to the world but this is nice guys because it's showing that 
Some of you may have created boundaries with regards to your emotional self where you wouldn't have always said how you feel and this is where the change is coming in, okay? So now you are saying, well, actually, this is how I feel. That could be on a love level, marriage, uh, partnership, friendship, workship, whatever that is. Um, and now you're saying, actually, and people won't expect it from you, but they haven't seen the transition on the inside going on, okay? So this is rather quite beautiful. And I, it isn't interesting, once we have a highly spiritual card like the hangman, the voice comes in afterwards, okay? So it's like you speaking your truth, but from a heart level, which is why it's a cup's energy. So underneath the fall from an external situation, what is coming in, all the majors, guys, you've got justice, which is balance. So whatever you are experiencing, this brand new transition will give you the balance. And this would be around about now, okay? So don't think, oh, was it going to be tomorrow? The overall energy is quite slow, uh, but as a timeline, this can be October because it's a Libra energy. But keep going, keep moving forwards because you're experiencing balance or you will experience balance um, in your waking life, in your day-to-day -day life. And it comes from speaking your truth. Now, what is your truth? Are you holding back saying something? And that doesn't have to be saying something to somebody else. That could be how you're talking about yourself. It's always so interesting. It's always like saying to yourself, are you lying to yourself? Are you being honest with yourself? If you feel a certain way, you can vocalise it or you can write it down. There just needs to be some breakthrough with regards to that, okay? And which is why well, the hangman, it's not the universe annoying you by not making anything happening. It's showing you your own reflection, okay? So let's have a look underneath the seven of pentacles. Let's have a look what is coming in. Underneath the seven of pentacles, what is coming in? Underneath the seven of pentacles. Ooh, almost what is coming in what is coming in underneath? or two okay i'm gonna read these two so you've got the nine of wands coming in there okay so this is the wounded warrior one guys but at the same time it's not ultimate defeat maybe you're tired of a certain situation and once you get into this point where you find your voice you might know what's worth your time, what's worth your energy, and what to just put to bed, okay? There are greater things to put your time into. Look after yourself. You could um, do different things on a daily basis where you're nourishing your mind, body, and soul. Meditate, get your crystals, you know, there's so many different things. But it's not a card to say, I wait, you know, wave the white flag. It's a card to say, hey, I'm not done with myself, but I might be done with you, okay? So, but mixed also with the Knight of Swords, this is the very fast moving energy. So this is the Knight, so this is another voice coming in for you. And this could be an air sign, which is Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. So you could be hearing from somebody of those zodiacs. But if not, then this would indicate that after all of this, you race ahead to where you're supposed to be. So just know, how are you talking to yourself? What are you saying to yourself? Be truthful with your own voice. And the truth will show itself all around. The veils will unveil themselves and you'll see the wood for the trees, so to speak, okay? And this energy, you don't have to stay in this energy. I think it's more of an acceptance, but don't try and flog a dead horse, so to speak. And I feel that's what this energy is here and which is why the universe is showing you at the moment when nothing seems to be happening. I haven't got my clarifiers, guys. Bear with. Where's my clarifiers gone? Ah, oh, no, they're not. They're right behind me. Silly me. It's not a bad So let's see now what is coming in. As a clarifier. Let's ask the guides. Let's ask the universe what is coming in as an overall clarifier for my questioners. What is coming in? Let's see. Oh, these ones are busy. They're busy. Well, what do we know? Two of Cups. And the Lovers. Hi. I don't know if they talk like that, but they do now. So, the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Now, speak your truth with how you feel about something, guys. Speak your truth in regards to either your relationship you have with yourself or the relationship you have with somebody else. The Two of Cups can mean reconciliation, and it can be with a Gemini, which is exactly what the Lover's card coming up here is. You've also got the Knight of Swords, which is in their sign, which can be Gemini also. They don't have to be, but they could have it in their chart somewhere, or they could 
just be influenced by the law uh, energy at the moment okay um but what it is saying is for you to move forward speak your truth and no, otherwise nothing will happen you'll stay in the hangman state um and it will just it won't serve you in the long run if you zip it and you simmer and then you overthink over analyze but you'll get to this point where you think i can't be doing with it anyway okay there is a meeting up um it can be face to face uh, with somebody who you're questioning about um but what this is saying is honor your own soul first okay and whilst that might seem like an obvious thing to say it's not happening is it so how are you talking to yourself have confidence in yourself and whatever this is you know and this doesn't have to be in a romantic sense this could be um in the, how you know how you speak to your colleagues or how you speak to you um your friends and if you don't feel like you're getting any sort of respect there's a reason why you're at a certain frequency so it's evolving from that and learning from that which is exactly what the hangman is okay so let's have a look and see what color card came up pink let love in i want to say guys do not be a pushover if you feel like this is happening you put a stop to that but let love in those boundaries those barriers that might be happening because you're not speaking up it's all waiting for you. You know, I said when you speak your truth, the truth will unveil itself. That's where all the love comes in. Tulips, flowers, glowing, expanding. Honor your soul and your soul will honor you. Speak truthfully to yourself and the universe will show you the truth, okay? What it does, it gives you smoke and mirrors up until then with over analyzing, overthinking because you're not putting yourself in alignment. Talk to yourself how you want to be spoken to um, because we always forget to do that. We always forget to um, congratulate ourselves and to honor ourselves. We always wonder what the other person is thinking or what, how they're feeling or this sort of stuff. Yeah, that's good. But, you know, if it gets to a point where you're becoming anxious over it, it's not happening, okay? But there is a new opportunity. There is a new beginning um, that's going to bring you a lot more balance. Um, that's coming massively from an external situation. Two majors from an external situation, guys, which is external forces at play. We can't always control that, but we can look at things with optimism and not anxiety, okay? And there's a big difference. Sometimes that is a bit of a learning curve. And other times it's like, well, hindsight is a wonderful thing. So that is your general Tuesday tarot reading. Hope it resonated. But if anything, it will be the first card that resonates more often than not because this is where you are now, okay? So that is that. So I will be doing another one on Sunday. So catch me on Sunday. To book in for private, half an hour or one hour, you can send me a direct message on here. In the meantime, guys, I'm going to have a chilled out evening, as you can probably guess. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Take care now.